up world, this is Chris Albert, Warriors Soul Fitness. I got a question today on Instagram. By the way, I'm putting out on Instagram every Tuesday, I'm gonna put up a post saying, how can I help you? Basically, any of you who wanna ask me questions can ask me questions, I'll either answer them on Instagram or here on YouTube. Um, I got a question uh, from one of my posts today uh, that asked me, how do you get rid of and prevent muscle imbalances? And I think muscle imbalances are kind of they're extremely important to worry about, but they're one of these things that people are latching onto right now that they're, they're like laying up at night, awake, wondering, oh my God, I think I have muscle imbalances. But um, it's not that big of a deal that you have to constantly worry about it and it shouldn't prevent you or make you more tenuous in your training. Um, part of uh, training is being able to take risks, being able to do things like squats, being able to do things like deadlifts that were classically held as quote unquote dangerous lifts. Um, and so I don't want you to get to a point where you're stalled in your training because you are so worried about muscle imbalances. But what you have to understand about muscle imbalances is that they come about because the human, human muscle tissue models along the lines of stress. That's one of the laws of physiology human muscle tissue models along the lines of stress. And so where we place stress, or if we place stress on our bodies that is unnatural for our movement, then we will develop muscle imbalances. Now, the other thing I want you to understand is that none of us are immune from muscle imbalances, and chances are, if you're sitting here right now, you have some. So how do we deal with them? Well, I'm gonna go through a few different steps that you can take, and this is gonna be real quick, because I gotta be on a flight to Nashville pretty soon. Um, that will help you get rid of or prevent muscle imbalances. First things first, don't sit for longer than an hour at a time. I do most of my work over here on my kitchen counter because I don't wanna be sitting all the time. Um, sitting tightens up your hips, it can really tighten up your hamstrings, it can um, interrupt your neurological connection with your glutes um, and keep you from, from mobilizing your glutes. So if you're sitting for more than an hour, get up, do 100 jumping jacks, do 30 burpees, um, you know, do something, walk around your apartment, walk around your house, go for a walk or do something, and then come back and do more work. But don't sit for longer than an hour at a time. Two, make sure that you are putting maintenance into your body, maintenance work. So many of you are so worried about lifting tons of weight and getting huge muscular bodies but you are not putting the, the required maintenance work into your body. That means foam rolling, that means getting massages, that means uh, dealing, um, taking a lacrosse ball with you to work. Let me grab my, taking a lacrosse ball with you to work and you know, just friggin' rolling out your forearms, right? Our forearms get so tight from bench pressing and deadlifting and everything else we do in the gym um, a lot of us don't think about the knots in there that could be causing imbalances that could interrupt the shoulder pad. Three, as much as you push, pull, right? You're bench pressing, you're overhead pressing, you're doing shoulder presses, you're doing dumbbell presses. So many of you are so worried about getting a big chest and big shoulders, but you don't think about everything back here, right? The front shoulders, if they get too overactivated and your rear deltoids, don't become activated enough, that can create a shoulder impingement syndrome where you're gonna have issues raising your arm over your head or you're gonna get super amounts of pain in your front deltoid that are gonna cause you to need to take time off from bench pressing or doing any of your pressing movements. So as much as you push, press, um, press or you know work your shoulders, make sure you're pulling, doing things like face pulls, uh, make sure you're doing lots of rows, make sure you're doing lots of rear deltoid work. Uh, as I would say pull even more than you press. Um, four, uh, don't get stupid in the gym, right? Um, one of the biggest things that I, I, I see with people is, yeah, they're worried about muscle imbalances, but then they're not afraid to go in the gym and put a weight on the bar that they have no business doing and uh, work that weight with shitty form and be proud of it. Um, the thing is, if you're not working to absolute perfect form, chances are you're not go you're going to get a muscle imbalances and chances are you're not working the muscles that you wanna work anyways. So you need to really pay attention to your form and perfect your barbell movements. 
This is like Kung Fu. This is like a martial art. The barbell movements are like your art, your craft. You should have pride in them and how well you do them. And if you're not doing them well, you should seek people who can coach you or you should seek knowledge that will allow you to do them better. Um, and you can't just sit there and live in denial and say, oh, I bench pressed 315 and you're freaking either doing it three inches off your chest or you're freaking pulling your elbows way far out or arching your back off or if you're squatting and, and not using perfect form and saying you squat 400 pounds, there's no pride in that. There is no nothing to be proud of there. All, there, all that's there is you lying to yourself and you not really doing the work that you need to do to be the best that you can be. And that means pulling the weight back, perfecting your form. I want you to lift heavy, I want you to be intense, but I want you to also be growing and bettering yourself with every workout. And if you're not doing that, then you're not bettering yourself. I don't want you to lie to yourself. Big fucking thing there. Uh, so I hope I answered anybody's questions about muscle imbalances. Um, you know, there's a few others there um, that I could think of. If you're moving forward all the time and you're running a lot, do movements where you're going to go backwards, uh, reverse lunges, uh, you know, side lunges, move in different directions. That's another big thing. Stretching, yoga. I actually bit the bullet and I go to yoga classes from time to time. Um, I do about 10 minutes of yoga every morning. It's part of my routine. Um, so that stuff will all help. If you have any more questions about this subject, hit me up at gettingdistreaded at gmail.com. I'll be in Nashville all week at the SIGET National Conclave, um, just giving out fitness con cl uh, classes and handing out fitness knowledge. And if you've got questions for me, you just hit me up. I'm here to answer you. I'm here to help you. All right? Peace.